guess who has just arrived in Norway. I'm in my little accommodation hostel. Let me give you a little room tour. I've got the little couch and table, the two beds. I've obviously claimed the bottom one because it's slightly wider and comfier. TV, desk, and then through there is the bathroom. It's cozy. But yeah, this will be my living quarters for the next week while I'm here in Norway for the World Uni Champ. So I'm very excited. In about an hour, I have to go and sign up, register, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go check out the rink. So, so excited. Just got back from checking out the rink, registering. Oh, I had dinner at the rink too. And then I went and found a supermarket and got some fun high carb treats because I am meant to be carb loading. Anyway, I thought I'd do a show and tell. Pineapple juice because pineapple juice is the highest carb per uh, liter, milliliter. Fun little pastry, not sure. A lot of this, a little waffle. And then the most exciting part was they had the biggest lolly pick and mix thing I've ever seen in my life. And I just went insane and put all sorts of random lollies into this bag. Let me show you. Here's the goods. There's like a million different kinds. You just can't see them. But anyway, I'm excited to try them and just relax. I'm feeling a bit headachey. I'm going to have a shower, have some Panadol, and then just relax and get an early night. It's like a winter wonderland. Good morning. I just finished at the rink this morning. Did a little training session. Just sort of spun my legs on the ice. Warmed up, did a couple of 100 meter excels. Then did a 600 meter tempo and finished with one start from the 1,000 meter line because my 1,000 is my first race tomorrow. I was happy with that and got some lunch. Anyway, I'm just going to the supermarket to pick up some more snacks, but we'll see. I'm very much lost in a Norwegian supermarket. Okay, I just went into the supermarket and picked up the goods, but look at all this snow. I still can't get over it. I'm absolutely obsessed with all the snow. It is so magical and beautiful and this is the most snow I've ever seen in my entire life and I seriously, seriously love it. I love it. I just, oh, I can't get over it. I'm going to head back, have a shower, wash my hair because we have the opening ceremony tonight so I want to look semi-decent for that. And then I'll probably eat some snacks, chill, just literally do nothing all afternoon. Go have dinner and go to the opening ceremony tonight. I have no idea what it involves. I hope they have an Australian flag there for me because I did not bring my own. one of racing i have the 1000 meter today at 2 p.m and i'm about to head to the rink and i'm gonna have some lunch then get my blades checked and start warming up and getting ready this feels very very surreal but i'm so 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 excited yeah and i'm just gonna have fun this whole weekend is just gonna be really fun racing and i'm looking forward to every minute of it so let's go wow. Day three of the competition. I've had two days. I've done the 1000 on Thursday, the 1500 on Friday, and then today's Saturday, and I've got the 500 today, which is very exciting. I realized I haven't really come down to sit and chat to you guys. I've been having the most amazing time. So we had the opening ceremony, which was so much fun. That was Wednesday night, um, and I became an, an honorary duchy. The Dutch team is so welcoming, so welcoming and so sweet. And yeah, it was just really, really cute. So I'm getting to know them all, which is lovely. Okay, I'm back. But anyway, as I was saying, I can't really remember what I was saying, but I did the 1,000 meters the first day, which went well. My time was pretty poor. It was two seconds slower than my usual time. So that wasn't great, but honestly, I keep on reminding myself I'm here to have fun and just reduce the pressure. I'm no, I know I'm not competitive against the other races and skaters, so I'm here to just push myself, do the absolute best I can in the moment, but mostly just to have fun and really, yeah, relax that pressure because I've learned from competing last week at TL that it does, it just 
just doesn't work for me if I apply heaps of pressure to myself it's just gonna backfire I'm not gonna do that this time I then had the 1500 yesterday and that was amazing I was so happy I was in the pain cave but it was awesome I loved it that was my first ever 1500 so got a new PB Woo. and I had so much fun there were so many people who were so helpful like the Dutch coach has been helping coach me on the ice and then all of the Dutchies and also the US team were helping me giving me advice about approaching the 1500 meter race so that was really really lovely and I felt so welcomed here which is really really nice today I have the 500 which I'm very excited for I'm happy it wasn't the first race because it's good to like get my nerves out in those longer races I don't really want to be feeling all nervy and like full of adrenaline in a 500 I just want to focus on that race and I'm ready to smash the 500 today full positive self-talk I'm just gonna go out there and smash it give it my all have a blast and I'm very 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 excited <laughs> back to the accommodation now. I got a PB in 500 meter which was amazing. I officially did a sub 50 which just makes me feel so good. I'm actually really, really stoked. I did set off my phone to up at first so I had to start again but still absolutely smashed it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so happy. It's just like a really great way to get towards the end of racing this weekend. So yeah. Very happy. Did the 500. Very, very, very happy. Also, how cute is this new headband? I love it. Um, totally on my lid. Afterwards, I prioritized refueling. So I went and had lunch immediately afterwards, which was really yummy. And I enjoyed actually being able to have a bunch of vegetables because the past couple of days I've been eating lunch before racing. So I've just been like having basically just carbs, minimal protein, fat, and fiber which means minimal veggies. So it's exciting today, eating lots of veggies. I miss them. <laughs> uh, certainly after like a weekend of competition or racing, I always crave vegetables at the end. Enjoying finally being able to eat some of them. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower warm up and then I'm gonna head back and watch more racing. Very excited. The team pursuit is on, which I'm really excited to watch. I've never seen that before. So. I'm now dressed. I'm gonna head back to the track and watch the team pursuit, which I'm so excited about. Also wearing my very cute new hoodie. Can't wait to go watch some more racing and just relax and enjoy it all. today i'm about to head off to the rink and gonna have some lunch i'm racing at two so it should be a fun time wish me luck okay the competition is officially over but right now it's time to party <laughs> it's party time we're having a like a little after party which i'm so excited for so i'm gonna go party with the duchies which should be fun So long time no speak, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know by this background, I am back home in Melbourne, no longer in Norway. So the last time you would have seen is all the party footage from Norway. We finished with a party which the Dutchies organized and was really fun. A bit wild, but just a great way to end the season and the competition and got to know a bunch of different skaters, which is really fun, really, really lovely. And I made so many new friendships at the World University Champs in Hama. I also set two new PBs, which is, was really exciting. Raced my first ever 1500, first ever mass start, which was terrifying <laughs> and fun. Um, and just had an incredible time that weekend 
It was seriously the experience of a lifetime and I'm so, 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 so grateful that I got to experience it all. But yeah, with that, I'm now back in Australia, back in Melbourne and back to reality, which is uni and cycling and skating. Not long track though. I am missing my long track, but I'm excited to show you guys all of everything that's happening now in my normal day-to-day -day life here in Melbourne. I really can't wait to show you. But yes, this wraps up the Norway video. I know it wasn't super comprehensive, but I hope you gave you like a little bit of an insight into a weekend of competition and what it looks like for me. It was the best competition ever. I had an amazing time. I'm so grateful I got to experience it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the things. It really helps support me and my channel. I'm very excited to be back here in Melbourne working on building my base fitness, getting ready so I can get back to the long track and get back to working on that. So yeah, with that, see ya.